Canadian Pacific Holiday train made its annual trek to Hamilton, marking the 20th year in a row the train has come to town. Thousands came out to brave the cold and take in the free concert. Those looking to warm up could grab a drink from Tim Hortons, who have played an important role in the Hamilton Food Share food drive. We want to be here helping out uh, as much as we can. It's, it's incredible and our partnership and relationship with Hamilton Food Share um, it's just really important that we be that heartbeat of the community and give back to Hamilton. The Yuletide themed train has raised close to 15 million dollars and over 4 million pounds of food for community food banks across Canada and the U.S. This year's concert was opened by Jojo Mason, who got the crowd warmed up. Then, it was time for the main attraction, with the Sam Roberts Band taking center stage. Fans were treated to a 45-minute show, with a mix of the Montreal band's hits and holiday tunes. While the CP Holiday Train has been entertaining families and children for decades, volunteers in the community have been helping out for just as long. Celeste Taylor is one of those volunteers. With over 12,500 food bank users in Hamilton every month, a third of them being children, Taylor believes events like this show Hamilton's true colors. It's an incredible showing of generosity. The people of Hamilton have huge hearts, want to help their neighbor and want to help be there for the people who are having a hard time. Some of those volunteers included members of DeFasco's Team Orange, a group of 600 volunteers who attend over 80 events a year. For them, giving back means everything. Well, Hamilton needs help and this is a great opportunity for people to, to donate food and money and people are very generous here. They were very generous last year. Especially these times, there's always a need and there's always people that will uh, be going to the food bank and uh, it's all hidden. You won't see these people but they're there and this is a good way to give back through money and food. The train will continue to make its way across Canada, stopping in Windsor for a week before beginning the second leg of its journey out west to its endpoint in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia on December 18. For Mohawk College Journalism, I'm Greg Campbell.